Hi, Brian from Airflow Music here once again. Welcome back. This is day 24 of the 30 days of long tones. Um, something I want to try and try and briefly talk to you about before we get into this video. I mentioned slotting and my kind of aim to play towards the top of the pitch, to play up to the pitch to find my slot, which I know is a slightly unconventional view in one sense, uh, because the thought tends to be that we need to play down to it because we play too high very often. Um, I just wanted to clear up a little of what I meant by that. Uh, basically, it's definitely possible, and a lot of people do this, to play too high and tight on the pitch. And that's why we tend to practice things like bending exercises and stuff like that to help us bring that down. My approach is basically that I want to try and play on the easiest part of each slot. The place where it sounds the biggest, feels the easiest, and for me, that's at the top of the widest part of the pitch. What I mean by that is that I kind of conceptualize this as each note being shaped kind of like an archway. If you imagine the sort of archway that has straight vertical sides going up and then tapers off at the top, either to a rounded or to a point or is somewhat triangular, but up to a certain point it has vertical sides, okay? Now, I conceptualize each note as being a square box that's as wide as that archway, so it can just fit through there. And basically what I'm trying to do is fit that box through the archway at the highest point in the archway possible. So right up to the top where it stays wide before it tapers off at the top. And what the playing high and tight tendency is, is to try and compress that box down so it gets a little rounded and it fits a little further up into that archway part of the arch the narrowing part, okay? I'll try and put something on the screen graphically that helps make that a little clearer, hopefully. Okay, but that's kind of where I'm at with these things. That's what I'm trying to conceptualize and just be up at the top of that. As uh, many of you have seen the excellent Brass Chats episode, I'm sure, with Jim Pandolfi, where he talks about playing up to the pitch in terms of playing in the taper zone. Uh, where if you decrescendo, uh, if you diminuendo down to your softest point, for many people the pitch tends to go upwards as you do that, and that therefore you should start at that high pitch and keep your pitch up there as you play louder, and then you've got no problems with your overall intonation. You've found the slot and that's where you are. This is very much a different way of saying the same sort of a thing, I think. Um, you don't want to be so high on the pitch that you feel tight and that you have to really pinch with your lips and control anything to be up there. And as I've said many times before, when I'm playing these long tones softly, I'm trying to play them at a relaxed, soft volume. So I'm not pinching with my lips. And for me, that also takes me up to the highest part of the highest part of the widest part of the note in terms of pitch. Okay, I hope that makes it clearer than it causes confusion. Um, if you have any follow qu follow up questions about that, then please comment below, and I will uh, do my best to answer them either by addressing them right there in the comments or by addressing them in the next video. Okay. Uh, so let's get into the set for today because I'm already in danger of talking too long. Um, this is the same old set, you know what it is by now. If you're just joining us uh, and you need the PDF to see what I'm playing, um, then you'll find the link for that in the description below this video. I am playing 30 second long tones with a 15 second break. I'm tapping my foot, I'm subdividing the beat, I have the metronome going at 60 beats a minute. And I'm thinking of this in 5-4. So each long tone is six bars of 5-4 at 60 BPM with the click. And I will try to indicate uh, one bar of five, the downbeat of one bar of five before each long tone starts so you know what I'm going to play. Okay? Oh, that seems rambly. Anyway, let's get into the set for today and I'll see you on the other side.
Gremlins are in.
Okay, so once again, I was going pretty good in this set until I get to those last two or three low notes. And there's a couple of things that happen because I know they're coming up. Um, I kind of start worrying about them. And in every case, when I can't hold those notes all the way to the end, I start worrying about whether I've got the air about 15 seconds in. It's really, I think, largely psychosomatic at this point. I've got the air for every other note, so there's no reason that that should be so different. Okay, now my approach to this, evidently now since it's in my head, this is something I need to go and practice. And that's what I'm gonna do when I get through videoing this is I'm going to go back and I'm going to play two or three more times through those low long tones until I can figure out what my balance needs to be and get them right and then tomorrow I'm going to put them in context again and all being well that'll be the end of it and I'll be over it but that really is something I'm just going to need to go and spend a little more time with I could do it right here on camera but you know I don't know how many times that's going to be, and, you know, I'm sure most of you are doing fine with getting through the end of this set at this point. So, you know, in one sense it doesn't serve any purpose for, for me to show you me playing those extra long tones probably several times. Okay, but that's what I'm going to do right now to try and get over this. I'm going to go practice it. And if I have any observations about how that goes, then I'll include them in tomorrow's video. Okay? So, um, that's where we're at with that. Any questions or comments, they're welcome as always. I do have to have an almighty catch-up on the comments. I've been a little slack within the last couple of days. Uh, but I'll get back to those this afternoon as well. And get caught up with everything. Okay? So in the meantime, I'm going to go practice these. And whatever else you need to work on, you know what to do. Go practice. <laughs>